Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the elder apostles of great Moses that taught me this truth and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few. The very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within within these last days all right this lesson is going to be based on the fruit of the spirit okay because there's a saying what do they say you reap what you sow. So what are we sowing? Right? Are you sowing righteousness? Are you sowing what deception and wickedness? So Lord, we're going to go into it and it's going to be edifying. Okay. Let's start on. Let's start at Ecclesiastes 5 and 18. I haven't been in the scripture in a long time. My son, gather instruction from thy youth up right so at a young age in the scriptures i forgot where scriptures what scripture it is it says let no man despise thy youth don't let anyone despise their youth and say well, he's too young what does he know don't let anyone say that all right you may be young according to age but in the spirit well you have the you have the, the spirit of what one of them old prophets so don't let any man say you're, you're, you're too young scripture says gather up what instruction from a young age okay from thy youth up until you, from youth to upwards till you get older so shall I find wisdom right till thine old age okay therefore you're going to be exercising it okay and this ain't we're not talking about the wisdom of the world we're talking about the wisdom of the scriptures come unto her as one that ploweth so when you're ploughing what's one doing when they're ploughing they're toiling right you're plowing you're plowing the ground you're lifting it up that fallow ground and sow it so what are we sowing spiritually this word this is what we're sowing the word okay and wait for her good fruits the good fruits will be the end product of what you've put out for thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon in due time and I like planting things, but when you plant things, it don't just happen overnight. Some things take weeks to, to sprout. Some things take two weeks. Some things take a month. Some things even take years. A tree just didn't become a tree within a day. There was a process to that tree growing. Okay. And you shall eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. So wisdom, Sophia, is referring to, is very what? Unpleasant to those that are unlearned, okay, within this truth. And he that is without understanding will not remain with her because someone that's without understanding, when this wisdom is brought upon them, they're not going to know how to deal with it. And it's going to be um, too wearisome, too burdensome for them, right? She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial. Okay. And he will cast her from here. It be long. For wisdom is according to her name and she is not manifest unto many. The main thing is what? Attaining unto wisdom. Right? And it's not manifest unto many. Only the few. So now we're going to go to Galatians. Right? And it's going to go into the fruits of the spirit, what they are. All right. So this is Galatians five, and okay, the fruits of the spirit. Here it is. We can go into. Yeah, we'll go straight to it. 
this is Galatians 5 and 22 but the fruit of the spirit is love okay I don't like to just throw around that word because the people of the world throw that word around okay love right so if you have love you have compassion for your brother you want him to be on that straight path right because don't don't miss don't mistake um correction a lot of people when they're corrected they mistake ah oh, he hates me he's got a pro no that's love if a brother's doing it in the right manner in the right manner sincerity you ain't got no ulterior motives that's love when someone's correcting you that's love if he wasn't correcting you that means he actually hates you okay joy okay and the joy is with these scriptures there's a great joy within us okay peace great so peace another word for peace is um tranquility there's tranquility when you wake up to this truth and look at the people in the world they're not at peace okay whether it be family members whether you people you know in the world they're not at peace right long suffering okay so scriptures let us know long suffering also okay long suffering so we got to be long suffering with what those that what may not get this truth straight away you're long suffering with them because not everything I understood straight away that's why you want to be long suffering you don't just want to turn away a man oh you, you ain't getting this move on move on I'm not dealing with you no you, you, you it depends on the spirit that's why the scriptures talk about um you, you you try the spirits you know that takes discernment okay but long suffering okay because the Lord you have a is long suffering with us what if he was not long suffering with you always got to see it in that way gentleness doesn't mean you're soft okay gentleness all right you're not like a, a, a what's it <laughs> there's a word scriptures talk about don't be frantic among your servants or lying in thy house okay gentleness goodness so you when you're doing these works you're doing it with a, what, a good mind lord willing you should be doing it with a good mind goodness faith the main thing faith right when you're pushing these words you want to be doing it in faith because you believe meekness which is what humility okay that's that meekness temperance temperance is um someone that's not incontinent incontinent is someone that's not disciplined right so if you if you have temperance you're doing this truth you're putting the truth in balance it doesn't mean you don't go all out for or for your highway of a shy it's just that you're balanced in your approach your temperance you're disciplined really that's what temperance is what discipline right because it takes discipline to do these videos to go out there whether that be on a weekend, whether that be a couple days a week, that takes discipline. Okay. Against such, there is no law. Okay. Against such, there is no law. Why? Because this is a law within itself. Right? Man. these are laws man okay these are actual laws and it says bear me just a minute hold on a minute Satan's always Satan's always in the midst and they that are Mashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections of the lust right if we live in the spirit so when it says and they that are Mashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust right and that's what mortifying the members if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit if you're living in the spirit let us walk in the spirit not just talk okay let us not be desirous of vain glory provoking one another envying one another because you still got that going on in this truth so what does that show you that's a man that's still operating according to the flesh right Scripture, scriptures are given everything we need right so now we went to that let's go into Ephesians as well the fruits because that's what I've been thinking about fruit maybe <laughs> just a minute let's go to Ephesians 
Okay. Start at six. Let no man deceive you with vain words, empty words, right? For because of these things cometh the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience, right? Be not therefore partakers with them, all right? You don't want to be a partaker with them, okay? For you were sometimes in darkness, right? We were in darkness, all right, mate? And it says, but now you are the light in the Lord. So we are that light in Yahweh Shai. Okay. Walk as children of the light. Okay. For you were sometimes in darkness. You know what? He's just having fun, isn't he? he got, he's got his sons on arm. I forgot what that thing, a quad, what's it, a quad bike? You know, he's just having fun. You know, Jake's going to be Jake. Bear me just a minute. And it says, but ye therefore be not partakers with them, for you were sometimes in darkness but you know you are like in the light of the lord so we were once as them children of what disobedience right but now you are in the light in the lord's walk as children of the light right that's why we gotta walk for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness all goodness fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and we win with what the fruits of the spirits are and righteous and truth so when you see men you see them operating with their brother in the truth a certain way out of anger out of malice out of murder then you know these individuals they have not really put on your shy because you're not going to be operating like that is there going to be particular arguments you may have between your brother disagreements yes but on the whole you're going to be in what a balanced spirit where you want the best for your brother there's a lot of men they don't want that that's why in john 8 44 and you're not going to change these men the men that have that spirit you're not going to change them and only yahweh can do that because it says in john 8 and 44 ye are of your father the devil so those that are of their father the devil you ain't going to change him they're going to they're going to operate on that wavelength and that's a low wavelength esau he wants us to hate each other. He wants us to be against each other. And really, you know what? Not all of Israel are going to get together on this side anyway. Because that's how Yahavashai has designed it. That's why you have an elect and you have a non-elect. Right? And righteousness and truth. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord Yahavashai. And having no fellowship with the unfruitful works. I haven't been into the scripture for a long time. I used to go into the scripture all the time. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness so if you're around individuals that say well you know you have a whole camp a whole camp and just one man within that camp wants to do the work the others are lukewarm just you know just dra 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 dragging themselves to camp that they're unfruitful in their works and the works of darkness would equate to what the world because they're still operating with what the spirit of the world so what they're unfruitful works of darkness the scriptures have no fellowship. What's fellowship? Communion. So if you're a very fiery brother, you want to do this work, you can't be around others that are unfruitful. Unfruitful works of darkness. So if you're lukewarm, that's you being unfruitful in your works. And Yahabashah has definitely given brothers talents and things they can do to push this truth. And it is irritating. And I can speak from first-hand experience. It's like... You're pulling all your weight. You're giving it all. And everyone around you, they don't give a shit. And you always got to bring it up. Then the man may ring you up and say, oh, please stop. Uh, could you stop doing videos on people being lukewarm? That's fucking wicked. <laughs> that's, that's off. If you're saying that, that's off. Basically, that's, basically, what you're saying is, Isaiah 30 says, speak not unto us what? Smooth things, but tell us sweet things. Cause the, what, the Holy One of Israel to cease. So if a man's telling you, oh, don't stop, stop, stop doing videos about men being lukewarm, it's because they have a problem and because they're not in the spirit. That's why. That's why, again, I, I have to say to Wadi Yahawai Abashai for allowing me to really bloom. Because that's another thing. Separation is elevation in certain circumstances. Because you may have those that may be trying to quench your spirit. Then you think that's all right. You may look at it. I think, well, you know what? He's doing it. He's, he's not really giving any effort. So you follow that. 
But me, even I, I've always had the spirit, even though when I was in, within a camp, I was about doing the work, doing the work, doing the work, right? And not just doing the work, it, got, it goes further than doing the work, pushing videos, not just that, but what, practicing what we preach. So it's more than just, yeah, videos, but it's also practicing what you preach and really being about the truth, really having faith. There's so, there's so much to this trick, there's so much. I can never say I have it all together. There's so much I'm learning every single day, every single day. Never stop learning. But you know what it is, men get complacent. So the scriptures, be not what, yoked. We're not yoked, be not um, drinking together with the unfruitful works of darkness. Right, but rather reprove them. And men get upset when you reprove them. All, you, all you're saying is, bro, what's going on? Like, how comes you ain't doing any video? And men, they get upset. They get, ah, oh, it's aggravating. Stop, talk, stop talking about that. That's the spirit men have. You can't, you can't have that spirit in the truth. Okay? Because men like that, they're not gonna, they're not gonna last. Just that, like, well, what did you come into the truth for? Right? You came into the truth to push this word. Anything else would be uncivilized. Bear me just a minute. Should be the main reason. First Corinthians 13th chapter. Right? And this is heavy. We, we may shut up on this. Thirteenth chapter. Listen to this. Because this is really, really, this is a really, 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 really heavy chapter. Okay. Row I speak with tongues of men. So a man may be able to speak, I don't know, Romanian, Spanish, Portuguese, speak in tongues, different languages, and of angels, and have not charity. That's a, that's a major part of what? Salvation. How you are towards your brothers. The mindset towards those that are teaching also. Charity. That word for charity in the Greek is agape. Right? And it's not always money, because men have a uh, have a very carnal mindset, you know. You know, just just give give, give you know just give the brother a uh, a cheeseburger. Well, that'd be nice, thank you. But it's more than that, you know. I don't know why I said cheeseburger. I just been thinking, thinking about burgers, maybe just a bit. <laughs> okay, it's more than that. It's more than money, right? It's more than buying your brother some clothes, right? The most important thing you can give your brother or sister is this word for their soul to heal them that's the most important thing and you can only do that if you have the spirit of Yahweh Shai right and have not charity right so you can have all these things and have not charity I am become as a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal that's a musical instrument right it's them plates, them metal plates that you, you hit, okay, and it goes ting, ting, it's equated with, with a lot of music, just type in twink, tinkling cymbal, right, you just ting, guess what that makes, it means you're just making noise, if you don't have charity, if you don't have true brotherly love, if you don't love your brother, you're just making noise, and that's it, you have a shine accepting that sacrifice, Speaking of noise, the sirens, <laughs> and that's all that you're just making noise, just like them sirens, okay. And though I have the gift of prophecy, okay. So, men talk about, yeah, it's about prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Is this this ain't gonna happen? Yeah, all right, we understand that, okay. And I used to go into prophecy a lot, I still do, but I used to go into prophecy much more a few years ago than I do now, right. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, so you know the prophecies, you know the mysteries, you know Daniel 7, you're throwing out them tests, right? And all knowledge, right? You have knowledge of particular things, breakdowns, and though I have all faith, you even have great faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. So you could have all these things, you could be doing all these things, but you lack charity. You don't have the right mind towards your how, why, Abishai and the brothers that are teaching. I am nothing, it means you're nothing, right? Charity suffereth long, right? 
So long charity is long suffering, right? It's not tyrannical, it's long suffering, right? And it's kind. Charity envy if not. <laughs> okay. You know, why are you envying? Why are you envying a brother? Why are you envying him for? You wouldn't need to do that if you were working on yourself. But there's men that came to the truth, they were never really working on themselves. They were just busybodies. They were just spiritual leeches jumping from this man into th to that man. There comes a time where a man has to be strong in Yahabashai. Okay? Though I bestow my goods. Okay? Baby Smith, though I have all faith, I could remove mountains. I have, I have not charity and have not charity. I am nothing. That's what you want to be seeking for. Right? And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. So you bestow in all your goods. I do this for him, I do that for him. But though you have not charity, you're still nothing. Yes, charity suffereth long, it's kind. Charity envieth not, charity vaunteth not itself. You're, you're vaunting towards other brothers, right? Provoking, right? It's not puffed up. The only reason you'd be vaunting yourself because you're you're puffed up. You're trying to prove you're trying to prove something. Right? It's not puffed up. I, I know this. He doesn't know that. That's puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Alright? Seek if not her own. Okay. Seek if not her own, that's that selfishness. Is not easily provoked because if you're chari if you're charitable, you're definitely not going to be seeking your own. If you're charitable, you're going to be seeking. Let me check the time. You're going to be seeking the welfare of others. I wanted to shut off. Time's running out. Battery's running out. Excuse me. I'm going to quickly shut off. And they not behaved so unseemly. It's not easily provoked. Are you just getting provoked at any any little thing? Any little thing you're just being provoked. Think if no evil, you're not thinking evil towards your brother, even though you're gonna get demons that attacked that will have you thinking evil. Rebuke that straight away. It's, ha it's, it's even happened to me in the truth, and this when I was first coming in, into the truth. But then you realize, yep, yeah, that's Satan. Okay, and you cut that with the scriptures. Rejoice not in iniquity, and men, a lot of men are rejoicing in iniquity. A lot of men are rejoicing in iniquity. In sin, in wanting their brother to fall. Okay. And not just that in, in siding with the enemy, Esau, all types of stuff, in deception, that's rejoicing in iniquity. But these same men, they, 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 they claim to be pushing the word, but they still want salvation. <laughs> you better, better get real. But rejoice if in the truth. That's what you're rejoicing. You don't rejoice in iniquity. A mischievous man rejoices in iniquity. You rejoice within the truth. Bear of all things, believe in all things, hope of all things, endure of all things. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. What? When they come to pass. Once they come to pass. Doesn't mean it wasn't a prophecy. It means once that prophecy is done, it's out of the way. Therefore it's failed, it's done, it ceases. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Okay. And in the kingdom, we're going to be speaking Hebrew. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Okay, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. This is referring to what the brothers do know, right? Because everything Yahweh had done, right, was not fully, fully expounded. The scripture that says that not all his works could even be contained. There were so many works Yahweh was doing, it could not all be contained in this what? The scriptures, right? But when that which is perfect is come, Yahweh Shai, when that which is part is in part shall be done away. Okay. This is about what? Coming into yourself and really growing in this truth. Excuse me. Okay, so I think that was it. And these are what? Part of the fruits of the Spirit. And when I read these scriptures, this ain't just something, all right, the video's done now. I'm going to completely forget about, forget about what I taught. I'm going to apply this in my daily life to the best of my ability, having the fruits of the Spirit. Goodness, faith, long-suffering, mercy, judgment, joy. And that doesn't mean you still don't exercise judgment. You still exercise judgment, but you still have these qualities. So that means you have a good mind. 
So when men are in a sunken evil state, because they don't, they're not possessing the qualities of the fruits of the spirit. Okay. So with this lesson, I'll shut off. And until the next time, shut off.